So it's kind of the ultimate <laughs> of no escape, the ultimate prison. You're going to get squashed to an infinitely dense so point. So n- not every star becomes a black hole at the end of its life? No, because if, if um, something like the sun... Um, we have then a small star. It's quite small, yeah. And, and when it collapses, there's a there's a, a, a sort of a pressure, a force, if you like, which is caused by the fact that electrons don't like to be very close to each other. So it's called the Pauli exclusion principle. But essentially what happens is that, so as they get squashed closer and closer together, they move faster and faster to sort of get out of each other's way, if you like. And that makes a force which holds them up. And so that creates what's called a white dwarf star. So, so you can have a blob of matter. They're about the size of the Earth, but they're about the mass of the sun. And uh, so that's, that's for smaller stars. They end up as these white dwarf things, which are very dense objects.